actions. One, the uh, 100th anniversary of the centennial of Old North Davis, and the second, recognizing Older Americans Month. Uh, I will handle the first, and Councilmember Lee will handle the second. I'd like to invite members of the Old North Davis Neighborhood Association to join us in front of the dais. Welcome, everybody. Uh, the opportunity here and the excitement is to recognize the centennial of one of our cornerstone neighborhoods uh, here in Davis, California. So we're going to recognize Old North Davis uh, as in its centennial year uh, here in the city of Davis. So this marks the, uh, and, and Old North Davis is turning 100 before the city of Davis has turned uh, 100. So uh, if we were here in uh, uh, 1913, people would be saying, uh, uh, Davisville what, right? So, very good. So here, this marks the 100th anniversary of the birth of Old North Davis neighborhood uh, by the uh, filing of the Bowers Addition subdivision map in 2013, which greatly increased the number and quality of residential lots north of Fifth Street. In February of, 20, of 1913, the first sidewalks were laid, and in July 1913, the first house in the Bowers Addition subdivision uh, was there was there, and there are five bungalows. The Bowers Edition subdivision was, anyhow, there were five bungalows uh, that, that happened by uh, July of 1913. Um, and uh, the neighborhood uh, ties us to our past and yet is leading us into the future. On behalf of the Davis City Council, I congratulate the neighborhood on its 100th anniversary, and we look forward to the next 100 years. I will also note that uh, just uh, within the last month, Atlantic Magazine recognized the most bikeable neighborhoods in America, and the number one most bikeable neighborhood in all of the United States of America was Old North Davis. And while Davis had four neighborhoods in the top 10, uh, Old North Davis was, was number one. I also want to pick one little quote out of the, uh, the resolution here, just a sec. And this was the, the February 1st, 2013 edition of the Davis Enterprise. Editor William Henry Scott headlined his lead story, Bowers Subdivision Has Awakened Civic Spirit. And so with that, I'd like to invite uh, members of the Old North, North Davis Neighborhood Association to say a few words. Dennis? I wanted to take this opportunity to give recognition to John Laughlin, who wrote in, 19, in 2009, a, uh, excuse me, 1999, a historical sociology of the neighborhood and brought into, into consciousness the history and the, the, the sociology of the neighborhood. Uh, and amongst the things you can get by buying his book at the Hattie Weber Museum, where we have the entire extant copies, uh, the set of copies remaining from the, the Yolo County Historical Society who published it, you will learn about three progressive features of Old North Davis. First of all, it had sidewalks and, and street trees, uh, thereby uh, Proceeding, pr being part of the sanitation movement, you could uh, walk and be a pedestrian and uh, uh, and uh, and uh, have, keep your house clean. Second of all, it had alleys, which facilitated cars being separated from the street, and the alleys also facilitated sewage and uh, and water lines. And this was the first neighborhood to have both. And third of all, it was a, a neighborhood that continued the 50-foot lots, the last outward neighborhood that had the smaller lots. Uh, facilitating inexpensive houses. And they had the first tract houses in Davis, little 825 square foot bungalows. This was not elite housing. Elite housing was going to be Millionaire's Row, the one acre blocks north of the Old North, but we were to be a common person's neighborhood. I guess I'm not insulted. Uh, my name's Steve Tracy. I'm currently president uh, of the common Old North Davis Neighborhood Association Board. Uh, we're an organization that doesn't just get aroused like somebody kicking a sleeping dog when there's some threat. Uh, we're there all the time. We meet every month. We put a newsletter and agenda on almost every doorstep of the nearly 200 residences we have. Uh, we have rotated some 20 people through our membership on our board over the 10 years of our existence. And half a dozen of us have served as president over that time. 
Uh, so we're, we're always there, and we have social events too. We don't just uh, you know, come down here and gripe now and then at the city council about one thing or another. We come down with good suggestions, like our parking district at times. And we have a rotating a holiday party uh, in December every year where we visit a few homes and snack and share food and talk. And we have a picnic, which is coming up very soon, which will celebrate our 100th anniversary. And the Cal Aggie Band uh, will be there and perform. Uh, that'll be in one of our historic homes. Uh, and in terms of meeting our climate action plan, uh, non-motorized mode share, I don't think there's a neighborhood in town that does better than Old North Davis. That's why we're so uh, happy to see Fifth Street's improvements moving along, because we walk and bike across that street every day. Very good. Thank you, Steve. Uh, thank you, Dennis. Uh, that is, uh, that, that's just fine. That's uh, well, well said, well spoken, and thank you, and congratulations to Old North Davis. Okay. Very good. Thanks, Dennis. Okay. Brett. Okay. Brett, I think I'll uh, turn the floor over to you.